Let's graph the linear equation for y equals x minus 4. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put values for x in the equation, find the corresponding values for y, and then we can graph those points over here. Then we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. So let's start out, let's put in 0 for x, because that'll show up on our graph here. So 0 minus 4, that's just minus 4. Uh, let's put 1. So 1 minus 4, that's minus 3. And how about minus 1? Negative 1 minus 4, that gives us minus 5. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals x minus 4. So we have x is 0, and then y is minus 4. So here's x at 0, and we go down on the y-axis to minus 4. Then we have 1 minus 3. So x is 1, and we go down on the y-axis, minus 3. Last one, minus 1, and then x, minus 5. And you can see they all line up in a line. We could have just used two points. Nice to use three in case you make a mistake on one of these. Let's put a line through this. And we'll put arrows here to show it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for the equation y equals x minus 4. Let's use the slope-intercept formula to check our work. So with the slope-intercept formula, we have y equals mx plus b. And b, that's the y-intercept. That's where the line will cross this y-axis here. So the y-intercept is minus 4. So we'd expect if we go down here to minus 4, that's where our line is going to cross the y-axis. Now, for the slope, m, you can think of it this way. We have a 1 in front of the x. That's the m. It's not written, but it's there. If we think of this as a fraction, 1 over 1, we can say rise over run. So we'll rise 1 and go over 1. So we go to the y-intercept, we rise 1 and go over 1. So there's a point on our line, rise 1 over 1. And we can keep doing this, and you see that all of these points, they're right there on our line. Likewise, we could go down, we could go down one over one in the opposite direction, down one over in the opposite direction, and all these points, they end up on our line, y equals x minus 4. So that's how you graph the equation y equals x minus 4. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.